Hello everybody. I've been asked to shorten a dress or a laundry house coat without a sewing machine. So instead of cutting off the base, I will actually just cut the top provided the neckline is big enough. In order to do that, the best thing to do is to get the person to try it on a measure and there are three ways of tackling it. I will mention one at a time. First of all, I will cut the top. Can you see the pink dress here? One side is actually longer than the other side. And in order to do that, I will first of all tag it like this. You choose a contrasting color so that it's easy to remove. After doing so, you get fabric pieces like these. Before I dwell on how you do the uh, folding and the trimming as well as the sewing of this, I will go on to the second technique, which is actually to do this part here. Now there are folds here, but you have to make sure that the gathers are even, and I actually only do the two corners. So I will fold inwards like this. Inwards here, meaning this one fold inwards and then the inner side will become outwards but it is better for you to have the fold here because it's in contact with your flesh and if it is less comfortable it will be actually quite irksome to have the fold somewhere in between here it will be pressing against your flesh and therefore for the inner side it is outwards is better and you can leave it outside fold here so it will not hurt you. So after addressing that the fold here must be external, the third technique is actually at the armpit area. If you do not need such a big armpit sleeve area, you can actually tack in slowly, carefully, about 1 cm inwards. You can hardly see it actually, it's not that visible. So unless someone scrutinizes it, it's not obvious. It doesn't really shorten the stress any much over here and here however it provides a better fit so especially for soft fabric like this having a better fit will actually help the dress cling on to your body a bit more and therefore it will feel more uh, it will feel shorter and less cumbersome especially when you go to the sink areas uh, it is actually tighter on your body now that I have already addressed the second and the third step, I'm going back to the first step of cutting off the top. The fabric that I showed you, for example, for example, this piece here, it came from here, of course. Now, if you want to have a two inch shorter dress, so instead of cropping the base by two inches, you can do one inch per side at the top, and that accounts for two inches. And uh, you have to make sure, like I said, you know, to let the person try on that the neckline is not too small, otherwise they cannot pull through the head. There are two ways of sewing it. One way is actually to actually sew this way first externally, and then after doing so, you push inwards, pinch it like this. And after pinching it, you turn over and sew it, like this blue dress here. Can you see this? Now, okay. So the advantage of this is you feel smooth and nice, and also the stitches are safely embedded inside. Can you see the inner fold? Because I fold it externally, then I pinch in and tag it this way. So the stitches are safely embedded and you feel smooth and nice. However, the setback is you may feel some weight over here and you have to bear it on your shoulder because it's like a little piece bulging on the shoulder. So this is a setback. The other method, I have done it on the pink dress. On this pink dress, I have actually sewn on the inside. And what I do is I do multiple stitches closely knitted together and to ensure 
a smooth, comfortable feel, I test it with my fingers running through like this. If it doesn't poke me or cut me, uh, not literally cut, but uh, if it is not very smooth and comfortable, then it is no good. So you have to make very tiny stitches here to smoothen the surface. And once you have done so, it will be actually a lighter weight and lighter feel. These tight fit stitches will also prevent any frilling off of all these uh, threadings and uh, you have to expect that uh, this is good for machine wash and even for spin dry after that now like this pink dress I have done one side at a time and it is better to do one side at a time because uh, after doing one side you get a person to try on again so you do not want to have both sides having a mistake and if necessary you can make your corrections on the other side in order to balance up the side with such a flowing material it's actually not very obvious if there is a slight difference bearing in mind that this method is used and applied because I do not have a sewing machine so this is one thing you can do if you need to shorten any dress without a sewing machine so after doing one side, ensure and make I mean make sure that you let the person try on again before you handle the other side. For the blue dress, I have actually only done the top without the armpit uh, area as well as uh, these uh, gathers area because it is actually shorter than the pink one. So on the other hand, I can't cut off too much, otherwise the neckline will become too small. So I hope you learned something and like this video. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye.